Today's really exciting because this is something I've been wanting to do for years and years and years. We're gonna build a big Lego set. What up, AFAM? Katie here with the Toll of Visuals, and I have Lee here with Zed Pro Media, all the way from Toronto. Wow, how did this all get here? I don't know. I don't even know how we're gonna cable manage all this because if you can't see it right now, this is all glass. Yeah, this case is completely see-through from the back where you're supposed to hide all the ugly stuff. Well, you're so, super excited to help me with well, that whole cable management. This is gonna be this is gonna be like an all-night marathon. That's right. So when I was looking to build my PC, I wanted it to be Hackintosh. I wanted to run Premiere on it to get some video editing, 4K and possibly game again, because I really miss gaming, so. Twitch account, live Twitch, stream. Twitch.com slash Possibly Katie. happening soon. So the heart of this computer is the 7820X, and this is a eight core, 16 thread Intel CPU. We just went for it. Yeah, I mean, you went like, for it. He's like, you want six core, eight core, and I was like, we, we dabbled a little bit with the six core, eight core thing because the six core is a slightly newer architecture than this, but this will still plow through 4K video. And that's all that matters, right? Yep. Then we got the Gigabyte X299 board. And oh then my God. this thing has like all kinds of stuff. It's got a Thunderbolt. So we got the GeForce GTX 1080 Ti. We're not screwing around here. No. That's like the best video, one of the best video cards you can get. That'll shred through video as well. Then we got the RM. RM 750X power supply. More, Very exciting. More power than we really need, but you know, you might want to add more. Hard a lot drive. of this is a lot more than I need. But why? We've got the one terabyte 860 Evo SSD, and then we've got the 500 gig 970 Evo M.2 drive. All right, we got uh, Trident Z RGB 32 gigs of RAM, and I can't remember the speed on this. This is 3,000 megahertz. And why do we not need 64 gigs of RAM? Well, you you can add it later. You can add it later. We can add 128 gigs of RAM to this later if you want to. And then the H100i cooler. We went with the all-in-one liquid cooler. Liquid because cooler. Why not? You said it was almost the same price as just fans. Like a really nice fan cooler, yeah. So why not? Oh yeah, the case. I don't remember the model of this case, do you? This is a 570X Crystal by... Corsair. Corsair. I was debating between this one and the Coolmaster H500P. It was a really good design. That's it. So we're gonna try and build this thing in one night, and then we'll see if we can and hack make and it toss hack it. And toshable. We'll see in if we can hack and toss it. This, I've read up oh that God. this is doable. So yeah, let's get our hands dirty. Let's, let's make start it unboxing. Okay, so we're gonna put in the CPU first. Yes. Then the RAM, and then the M.2 drive, and then we're gonna put the entire thing into the case. I'm one of the only people that actually likes building IKEA furniture, so I'm sure this is gonna be way more fun. I like building everything. We're gonna nerd, Ooh. nerd the F out, wow. Holy crap, look at this box. This is like a jewelry display case. Can they, can Wouldn't they, that be cool if you went to a wedding and this was the take home present? <laughs> Thank you for attending our wedding. Here's a motherboard. Best wedding ever. I know. What in the what world? Is all this Chinese stickers? Thing? These are stickers, they're going everywhere. We can run eight hard drives off this motherboard. These are all the SATA ports back here. So there's a slot here and a slot here for M.2 drives. And then this motherboard um, has a really good VRM cooling, which is this heat sink right here. We chose this motherboard because you can Hackintosh it and because we've got two Thunderbolt USB-C ports on it. Mm -hmm. And so hopefully we can get the Thunderbolt to work for the Hackintosh. It's got built-in Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, four, two USB-3, another USB-3. The case has USB-3 as well, two up here. It's for your keyboard and mouse. So the first thing you gotta do is release the tension retainer that's holding this little plastic cover on. So you gotta push down on that one and then kind of push it over. You push down and pull it in, sorry. Oh, I was like, you tell me the wrong thing here. There you go. Okay, the other one too? The other one as well. There you go. Then you can flip up the socket. It's you're already up. It's good. You just oh, lift that up. Yep. <gasps> okay, so we gotta get the CPU in there. Okay, so there's usually a pin that's marked on the motherboard, so you'll see this 
arrow there. Triangle. There'll be a little silver or gold triangle on the CPU die as well. So you want to match those up. Do I push? Nope. You just slowly let it sit in there. I think you're in. That's in. And then like you, lower, you lower that back down. Yes. The plastic will just pop off. Okay, there. Perfect. So lower this side down first and lock it in. There you go. Okay. That's, it. That's the hardest part. Nice. So the next thing we're going to do is we can do the RAM. Okay. This can take eight slots of RAM. That's insane. 2 1A. So that's this one. So you want to push down these things. They just pop back. Yay. Step two done. So the RAM CPU is in and now we're going to do the NVMe drive. I'm excited. I just want to see this thing boost up. Boost. This is pretty much it for now. Now we just got to put it in the case. He wanted me to get white sleeves for the cables. They were white. I wanted gold and white, but... If you wanted to spend another full two days or one full night of just sleeving cables, you could do that. And 200 bucks. You just redo all of these with sleeves. I ain't good. You take all the, you push all the pins out of these and then you run the sleeving down and then you put all the pins back oh, in. Oh, hell no. There's <laughs> no way. We can do that on the next build. Okay, it's so hard. cooler. Yes, cooler. And then we're gonna want the fan to blow up. Who taught you to do all these things? Honestly, I have no idea. The first computer I built was in high school mm -hmm. in like 2001. I, there was no YouTube. So, so then I don't remember at all how I learned how to do this, to be honest. What do you mean? You I just, just remember buying all the parts. I must have read a forum or something. A forum? You did this all through forums? Were there pictures then? Possibly. There's That's so many amazing. lights. <laughs> what? Look at that. The RAM's all fucking crazy. The motherboard's all lit up blue. <laughs> so back here you can change the color. It's red, orange, it's not yellow. Loud at all. There you go. So we can stick this on top. Hey everyone, this is Anthony. He does a lot of PC builds and he clearly knows a lot more about the software side of PCs than I do. So he's here to discuss with you guys my specs because you guys always ask me. So she's got an eight core CPU. It's running on an X299 motherboard and uh, a GTX 1080 Ti. So that's really good for Premiere. Premiere likes to use the Nvidia cards and uh, does pretty well on it. Yeah, that's a good choice. So I would say if you're gonna upgrade it down the line, you might might go for the 10 cores, but you're only gonna get a minor jump. It wouldn't be a big boost, so it's worth sticking with it for a while. So it's it's mostly the CPU. There's a lot of cores and threads in there, and they're fast, you know. And then having a 1080 Ti is like the best graphics card you can get. Although now they're getting they're coming out with some new ones too. Oh yeah, they're new but, ones now. Um, it's all but, outdated. <laughs> yeah, but still, 1080 Ti is gonna be awesome for a long time, so you'll be good with that. But so yeah. like for video editing wise, like what should people look out for if they're building their own PC or Hackintosh? Like well, yeah, the CPU is what does most of the work. Mm -hmm. The graphics card is important, but it doesn't do as much work as a CPU. That's the most important thing. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of RAM is important, but you don't necessarily have to max it out completely. And what does uh, this have? Really Just let them know. <laughs> this has a ton. This is maxed out with 128 gigs. So. I mean, how do you feel with using it? Is it cranking out or? 
It's doing well. It's doing well. I'm doing 4K edits on Premiere. Mm -hmm. Like full resolution, like before I'd have to, like on my laptop, I'd have to watch it at like half mm -hmm. resolution. And like, I know some people make proxies just to let it play on the timeline smoothly. Right. But I could just upload and it's perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. I love it. Cool. Does it render it faster and export it faster than real time? Or is it yes, about it exports yeah. it exports it really fast. Too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's about as good as you can ask for, you know? Yeah. So, and and it costs less thing. than my laptop, too. Mm -hmm. Like, that whole build costs less than my MacBook Pro 2017, and it's way faster. Mm -hmm. And Premiere works way better on it, too. Yeah. You know, the, Apple wants everybody to believe their Mac Pros are, are like actual computers, the laptops. Yeah. They're not workstation computers. And then you mentioned about their new processors, but you're like, but the problem is people don't realize that it's a mobile version. Right, yeah. The laptops have smaller CPUs mm -hmm. and they go a lot slower gigahertz wise. Mm -hmm. So the speed of the CPU uh, is slower than what a regular computer can do. And they don't have like all these fans and cooling and stuff. Oh yeah. That keeps the processor cool and able to do its job. But in a laptop it's squished in there and it doesn't have any airflow or any way to cool it off. Mm -hmm. So it has to work a lot slower. And that's why they all the MacBooks are overheating. That's right. <laughs> they were putting yeah. them in their freezers. I don't know if you saw. I didn't when they see first that. Came but out. I've heard a lot of complaints about them. <laughs> mm -hmm. If you want something to work and vid video edit and 3D graphics and all of that, you mm -hmm. need a desktop. There's no laptops out there that that's really gonna crank it out like these will. Yeah, that's so. true. Thanks so much, Anthony, for discussing with us everything technology. <laughs> Happy I've learned to. so much from you, honestly. Oh, thanks. And then one day, my third PC build will look like this. So <laughs> you'll see a video in like 10 years. <laughs> Maybe sooner. A hard tube, custom hard tube coolant. You could build this massive beast too if you edit all the cool videos. Yeah, the links will be on Amazon. Prime shipping. I ordered all this True. stuff last yeah. week and look, it's here. Uh, we found out that Ethernet actually works and the internet was working right out of the box, which I didn't expect. And we got the graphics drivers installed, so we got the right resolution. And I don't know, everything else kind of went together pretty much how I expected it to. And Thunderbolt, you didn't think the Thunder was gonna work. Oh, Thunderbolt for Windows, yeah. But it did, so now I could use my monitor as a dock station. I don't have to buy an extra hub, which is what I do. Yeah, so that was one of the reasons why I told you to get this motherboard, because it has two Thunderbolt ports on it. And the only one. There aren't a lot of motherboards out right now that actually have Thunderbolt ports on it. You have to add like an add-in card, so it's pretty cool that it's built right onto this motherboard. Mm -hmm. It also has Bluetooth. Bluetooth, Wi-Fi. So now I don't have to buy a Wi-Fi card or another Bluetooth adapter. Yeah, everything's working. If you work. want Lee to fly to your city and build you a Hackintosh, hit him up at at zpromedia.com. That's my new theme song. <laughs> it's trademark audio, and this video is gonna get demonetized. Yeah. That's it. If you learned something, give us a thumbs up, zpromedia on the YouTube channel and Instagram. What do you have up there so people know? All the things. We got photos, we got videos. Anything that I'm working on is up there. So check, check that out. out. Check out the YouTube channel. We did a collab, so I don't know the Oh yeah, Timing. check out our collab too. I have no idea when either of our videos will get edited because we're both slackers. We have other projects always on the go. All right, bye. Mm, done. Do it. Mm, done. <laughs> the Apple track pack alert. The a what is wow. it? A Apple, Sorry. it's late and we're loony and we haven't gotten much sleep this week because we've been working on collabs all week. Is that right, Lee? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Blooper reel. Bloop. I'm the, I'm what I can't even say it. I'm getting nervous. What? <laughs> You're shaking. <laughs> Keep this all together, yeah. Oh, Sound yeah. Canadian. Oh yeah, eh. Oh yeah. People eh? say eh. How about a boot? Nobody says a boot. <laughs> Blinking. I was like, I'm gonna do drugs and just stare at this and trip out. He's like, you don't even need drugs. Your computer's drugs. The now. computer is the drug. <laughs>